Things I wish I knew when I was younger about trumpet playing. When it comes to choosing equipment, quit chasing sound at the expense of efficiency. That was a big one for me. Because I would always try out mouthpieces, for example, trumpets, playing the louder, faster, higher stuff. Uh, and then, I, of course, I'd take it, I'd buy it, and then I'd take it to the gig, realizing I can't make it through the gig. This thing is, is, is too big, or it's too small, or it's, it's, it's the bite is too uh, sharp for my face, or what have you. You know, each of us needs to find this perfect balance. There's no such thing as a perfect, but this delicate balance of the trumpet, the mouthpiece, and our face and everybody's face is different so the equipment that your favorite players play doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you and I had to learn this the hard way you know I um, remember going to to Gary Radke's lab with uh, you know GR mouthpieces and I remember him having me try out some of his mouthpieces and instead of playing really loud stuff he would have me start blowing and bring my lips together until they began to respond. And there'd be some mouthpieces that I'd try to bring my lips together and nothing would come out. Well, guess what? That mouthpiece didn't work for me. Sure, I could have played loud on it, but I don't want to have to use maximum effort in, in order to produce music, you know? And of course, there'd be some mouthpieces that I'd barely put my lips together and I'd instantly get this nice vibration. So when it comes to choosing equipment, what I want each of you to do, go through that old uh, shoebox of mouthpieces that you all have and take each one and just try to start blowing softly, bring the lips together and see how long it takes for you to get that efficient vibration in. Uh, one more thing I want to say about this is uh, it's not that sound, of course, is not important. But the reason I say quit chasing sound is because your sound ultimately is up here, right? I could give any of you uh, any kind of mouthpiece, a couple of exceptions on the extremes, for example, but any old mouthpiece, I can give it to you. And if you played it for a month, you'd be starting to get into your sound. Why? because your body starts adapting to the mental cue because your sound is actually up here. What you sound like, what you wanna sound like is already up here. So for that reason, I no longer chase sound or at least sound alone when it comes to equipment. I chase sound plus efficiency.